you are where you are right now because that's where you're supposed to be. Oh, What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, I'm Sakaela, if you haven't subscribed, uh, subscribe, it's free 99 it's just right there, click that red button, also turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos, okay, okay, let's go. So I just want to do a little sip and talk, right? Sipping on a little bit of, I'm not to remember where I sip because that's not cute. Sipping on a little, uh, Oh, naughty. No, it's it's apple juice. Um, but I just want to sip and talk. Like, let's talk. I was talking to my friend the other day, yeah, about being in this stage of life and how he was telling me that you, you transition between phases every seven years of your life. So, like, you know, zero to seven, seven to uh, 14. That's puberty, 14 to 21, that's when you're starting to become an adult, responsibility is that, and then you have 21 to 28, which is the time in your life where you're trying to figure out like what you want to do with your life and, and where you want to be and you got to make life decisions and this, that, and the third. And so um, I'm about to be 24 and sometimes I sit and I be thinking, sorry, sometimes I sit and I be thinking like, I'm running out of time, I ain't done this, like I thought by this age I would have this done, or I thought by this age I would be at this stage in my life, or I thought by this age I wouldn't be in uni, I thought by this age I'd have a stable job, I'd be living on my own, I thought by this age, so many things, yeah? Let me, let me sip today. I love apple juice. If you don't drink apple juice, I can have a debate, apple or OJ. This is even a debate. But yeah, so um, I've been battling within myself lately just about the fact that I feel like I'm running out of time. And you necessarily are never running out of time per se. You know what I'm saying? There's always time to do everything. Not everybody's journey is the same as your journey. Just because somebody that is your age is in this place in the life doesn't mean that you should feel like you aren't on the right track or that you aren't still successful or that you aren't still growing and, and moving and changing and, and getting to that place just because you and them ain't ain't on the same place. I was watching Tasha, she talked about this a little bit um, in a video she did and she used the analogy like just because somebody's sprinting and you're in a marathon don't mean you try to be sprinting to keep up with them because by the time you catch up to them and they've done their race and you still got all this leg to go, you're going to be burnt out. So you got to always focus on, on you and yourself. like. And it can be really hard with social media and everybody posting their accomplishments and everybody posting that they got this job and this house and moving to their first apartment at 19 years old and you see the one two youtube video about it and i'm got my own this line and i'm got my own that line and i just hit 100k and i'm doing this and i'm doing that and i just me vacation and this and you know and it, it can get discouraging when you're looking at people that are younger than you and you're just like oh, how am i right here like on my right here but anyway my friend he was saying that like it's a he plays basketball so um like 23 is your joining year that's when you're like you know like trying to like 23 jump man jump man like what like and then 24 is your kobe year where you where you crack down and you do your t like you know you handle your business like you you do what you gotta do so that you can set yourself up for these next going up into your 30s you know what i'm saying so that kind of helped me. I didn't know where my that I was in a space where I was kind of like, what am I doing with my life, you know? Or like, why am I only right here? Like, I have my cousin, same age as me. She's got a baby, she's working in insurance. Like, 24 years old, I'm still in university. Like, flop, right? But no, I'm not a flop. I'm doing what I want to do. And my mama had made a comment. She had. She had made a comment how she was like, she said, um, if you had gone, you know, straight to uni after high school, you would have had a, a degree in risk management and um, insurance or something like that there. And that's very true. I could have had that degree, but I don't think I would have been happy doing that for the rest of my life. So I think timing for everything is just perfect. God's timing is always perfect. And I didn't know what I wanted to do. And had I gone, but had I gone to uni, right after high school i would have either wasted 
tens of thousands of dollars and realize that I didn't want to do this degree or I would have finished and I would be miserable right now working like I don't want money and I mean I want money but I don't want to be miserable every day going to work like right now I'm working at a pharmacy um, drugstore for the summer because I need a job and it's easy money and you know what I'm saying but I want to wake up every morning and be excited today like today oh today I'm gonna film this video or, or today me and my class will well not my class but me and my my workmate or whatever like oh we gotta do this project oh we gotta meet in with this client we're like you know what i'm saying i want to be excited about what it is that i am going to do and i think everyone should feel that way and i don't think anybody should feel pressured to be moving at a certain pace because not everybody nobody's journey is the same in it like you are where you are right now because that's where you're supposed to be if you were anywhere else beside where you are right now you would not be ready for it you know i always question myself like why don't i have why hasn't my channel done this and why am my channel going to this place and why hasn't haven't i become successful in this thing that i want to be successful in and it's a one of two reasons either this is not for me but i this is for me in it like this is <laughs> this is for me um or i'm just not ready for that level of success i'm not ready for a hundred thousand subscribers you know what i'm saying like so you have to be in a place because i heard this thing on this in a sermon it might have been michael toy i don't know who it was you might you know you might need money and god knows that you need money but you can't you wouldn't know how to handle a 40 million dollar blessing you know what i'm saying like you up in heaven you can have a bank account 40 million dollars in your bank account in heaven but god knows that if he gave you all that money right now you would flop flunder bump like just spend it lose it everything that could go wrong will go wrong because you are not in a space to take on that much success that much wealth just you're not you're not in a place to be at that level you know what i'm saying so he doesn't allow that to happen once you're strong enough mature enough to receive a certain milestone or to get to a certain place in your life then you will get to that place Timing, like I keep saying, timing is everything. I don't want people to think that, and I'm talking to myself like that, you're running out of time or that I should, my age mates are doing this and what am I doing? Like, you know, especially I think it's more difficult for someone at my age versus someone who's like 19, only because at my age people have finished uni. If I graduated high school in 2013, I should have been finished university in 2017. You know what I'm saying? And it's now 2000 and 19 and I just finished my first year of university so it's kind of just for me I'm in a weird space where it's like I should be done but I don't want to be miserable with what I was doing so I feel like I did the right thing but in the same breath I could be so much farther along in life if I had done this way who knows if I would have even done YouTube if I had gone that route you know there's just so many things like if you if like if you were just on a different path there were so many different ways your life could have went and I'm not mad about where my life is right now, but I still will also like to be further. Does that make sense? I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to encourage somebody out there who feels like they're running out of time, who's this close to giving up on whatever it is that they want or what they've been striving towards or working hard for. I always, and I keep saying to myself that anything worth having does not come easy if i got success overnight i would not be appreciative of it i probably will flounder it i probably will you know i wouldn't take care of that thing you know when, when someone buys you something especially when you're younger but still like when someone buys you something like you care for it but you don't care for it as much as if you bought it yourself because you know what went into it you know how much work you put in to save up this money and how much it costs to get and so um that was I said that for a reason and I don't know what that reason was <laughs> I don't know what I was saying I just want to encourage somebody out there today watching this video right here that your time is not up oh everything and what's meant for you will be for you anything worth having will not come easy because you won't appreciate it that's what I was saying so if you're feeling like giving up, I think I think when you get to that point where you want to completely give up, I think that's when your breakthrough is about to happen. 
when you're just beating down so bad and you're just feeling so low and like you can only go up from you know what i'm saying when you're at that low low you know what i'm saying you can only go up like there's nowhere else to go like <laughs> it's time for you to rise up out of the ashes like a phoenix you know yeah that was annoying but nah for real like if you're feeling like you wanna you wanna give up go harder because that means that your time is coming it's coming soon that means that you are on the right track you know what i'm saying there's always going to be adversity and i think when there is more adversity that means that you are doing what you're supposed to be doing and that sounds weird and it's just like well why would if i'm doing what i'm supposed to do wouldn't everything just fall into place but like i said anything worth having doesn't come easy it's not going to be easy for you because if it's easy for you you're not going to appreciate it if everything went smoothly you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily have the same you wouldn't you wouldn't build the same drive you wouldn't build the same strength the same like let's say okay let's say i blew up and got a hundred thousand subscribers overnight right and then i start getting love and hate at the same time i wasn't able to build up myself where i could take care of and mentally prepare and deal with the hate like as you grow organically you're gonna get a little bit of hate here and there and then it's gonna keep continuing to grow because not everybody likes everybody because that's just how life is in it but you'll be able to eventually just get used to it and not bother you but if you just blow up one time and you get all that hate at once you won't be able to deal and you could crack under pressure you got what i'm trying to say like so just understand that your time is your time it's like your justice your time is your time when it is time for you to be where you're supposed to be you will be there when it's time for everybody to see your accomplishments they will see it you know what i'm saying like don't feel discouraged i want to encourage today i really do i really want i want someone to understand like don't throw in the towel like don't give up just yet don't give up at all but like just don't give up just yet if you're really on that point where you're just like bro like why am i doing this like i feel like i'm going off on a tangent now so anyway i'm gonna end this video because i feel like at this point i'm just rambling um i didn't finish my uh my uh my juice let me just <coughs> 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 I want to encourage somebody out there if you're feeling down press 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 auto don't give up because someone's waiting for you to stop someone's waiting for you to give up someone's someone is always praying for your downfall but understand that there are more people praying for your success than there are people praying for your downfall so don't allow these people don't allow the enemy to get up in you and 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 in your mind and got you thinking this that and the dirt about this that and the dirt because i will be successful affirmation i will be great i will be you fill it out with whatever you are. I am successful. Speak it now. I am successful right where I am. I have 16,000 subscribers. I am doing great. There are people who have zero. You know what I'm saying? Big yourself up whenever you feel like you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. Just look back at work, at your accomplishments and the things that you have done. Don't compare yourself to other people because if you comparison is the thief of joy in it. Comparison, let me re put that on the screen. Comparison is the thief of joy in it. So like, yeah, I'm going off on another tangent, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If it was encouraging, if it was helpful, let me know because I want to be helpful. You know what I'm saying? I want you guys to understand that I love you and I love me and I want us all to be great. Like, yeah, guys, don't get subscribed to my channel because you know you want to be lit with me because my face right there. Turn on my post notifications. There are two videos right here that you can watch. Don't leave my channel just yet. I got more content. Trust, follow me on my socials and I'll see you in my next one. Peace out, Girl Scout. Check you. Later.